Let's learn how to easily make a stencil photo effect using Kittle, and then I'm gonna show you how to make a vector one as well. So we have our initial image of a guitar right here. This definitely works best with really nice high resolution images. Of course, you could use any of our integrated images for this or upload your own, of course. The first thing we're gonna do is turn down the saturation, okay? So we're gonna be working with black, white, and gray. And so now what I'm gonna do is take the contrast all the way up, and so now what we've done is actually gotten rid of the gray. So now the gray scale is gone. Now we have just bright white and black. And so this is a great place to start for the stencil effect. Now we can mess with the brightness to bring back some of the black here. Okay, so it was quite white. You can see as I move it up and down, you get a little more or a little less depending on what you want. But now we need just the image there in the middle. We don't want all this mess around the corners. And so what we're gonna do is use the AI background remover for that. Just click it and let it do the magic. So now this is a transparent photo. So now once we have this where we want it, you can continue to change and play with these sliders. But what we're gonna do is try to knock out some more of this white. So I'm gonna grab the color picker tool, select that white and so you can see now where it says remove color under the adjustments I have the white selected right here so now I can just move this slider this intensity slider to start knocking out the white and so as you see I do that a lot of the white starts going away and this just takes a little bit of tweaking to get the effect that you want so you can see all of the white from the guitar and the hand is gone and so we can mess with the intensity brightness and contrast to get it to an area we feel like looks pretty good and just to show you that it actually did knock that color out I have a, a, a thunderbolt here and if I send it to the back you can see it is actually behind it okay so you see that that white actually was knocked out and so this is a really cool effect for streetwear well, now let's say you want a vector one that previous example was obviously an image but if we go to Kittle AI we actually have a stencil vector effect so what we're gonna do is input a prompt and I think shorter prompts work better but let's go ahead and do the same style so a person holding an electric guitar and then upside down so and then what we need to do is go down to vector styles and there are a lot of cool different ones you can try out to see if it renders the best solution for you but this one right here says stencil photo so we select that and we generate it and let it take a second just to do the magic here and once it's there boom you have a render and of course you could continue to play with that and put prompts in there to get something that you want but let's just say that we're pleased with this one so now it's scalable I can scale it up and I can change the color because all of this is now vector and you can do anything you want with the vector graphic in terms of scaling and color so that's an easy way to get stencil photo effects in Kittle without the need for Photoshop or anything else now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.